Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Rosenroy Martini Glass. Before I do this review, I would very much like you to like and subscribe to this channel. You should do that uh, if you like it and you want to subscribe for it. You want to share this, maybe even verbally with your friends or mention it on the forums, that'll be great. Uh, because the more people, the better. Obviously, that's kind of the point. Um, well, it isn't the only point, but you know what I mean. And do check out onlinemagic.co. That's my online magic school or resource. And it's, it's a course, but it's kind of so much more now. Um, I've just recorded a new coin magic course. There's hundreds and hundreds of card magic videos on there, live sessions every week, up to 89 live sessions now. And we've got Looch this week, obviously, by the time you watch this, he might have been on. Uh, guest lecturers every month and some amazing names lined up. So I'm, um, I'm really, really excited what's happening with the course now, onlinemagic.co. Okay, so uh, Rosenroy Martini Glass. This is in the family of vanishing glasses, bottles, all those things, the Nielsen bottles. Of the, that's down there now. <laughs> um, and I, I get, well, I did one recently, didn't I? The... Um, the Coke bottle one, the super latex Coke bottle one. And I'm kind of, I look at these and go, yeah, they're great, but they're, they all kind of do the same thing. But this one looks a bit different. So the first thing is it is a martini glass. So it's very niche in a way that it's not going to fit certain situations, but it is going to fit other situations very well. So you're not going to be, you know, I'm, I've got footage of me practicing this in a hoodie and a hat. You know, where that way you do a, a, a martini glass production. But I was just practicing with it. But it's... So it's quite cool. It's it's something you I can imagine doing on stage in a cocktail routine or anything like that. And it's a lovely moment. It's a lovely opener. Anything with liquid is great. And that's the point of this. That's the thing that grabbed me a little bit more than a lot of these things is because you're producing a martini glass with liquid in it. There's loads of things you can do with this. And he's got extensive download, like an hour's worth of downloads and PDFs and all sorts. Um, but I think the main thing is this idea of producing a glass with liquid in it. And it's a martini glass. And psychologically, I, I looked at this and go, why, why is this different than a normal, say, a tumbler? You know, you can do, there's some great uh, productions of a glass of beer or water or whatever. And it's because of martini glass, we all know how easy they can spill. You know that you know the tiniest little thing, it's going to, because of the shape of it. So when you're producing that, you're kind of going, how has that, how has that happened? Now, there is also a vanish, which really appealed to me on this where you vanish the liquid as well. Now it's pretty cool. I would be, it's gonna take a bit of practice because one slight mishap and, and there might be a bit of a giveaway, but it's, it's very cool, but it's not something that I would say is easy as all the other stuff, is as easy as all the other stuff. So just on this, I'm not gonna go through everything on it, but there is, the main productions are from a, I did it from a, from a, I would say a silk, it's not a silk, it was like a, a napkin that, it took me quite a bit of mess to get it right. Now, it doesn't mean uh, it's difficult. It was just I was trying different methods of doing it. So by the time that you'll see the footage of me actually getting one that's kind of passable, not that great, that napkin was soaking wet, as was the floor, as was everything. Now, don't worry. You, you do want to practice this where you can spill, but it really isn't that difficult. I was just trying to do really quick ones and trying different, different techniques. He does take you through the technique. As I said, the, the, the main things for me was the vanish, uh, the sort of production, sorry. Did I say vanish pour? If I did, I meant production under the napkin. And from the bag, that's pretty cool. And I think anything you do which involves liquid and paper, that's why we love in the news and things like that, is because they feel more impossible. Because we know the slightest bit of liquid is going to ruin that paper, don't we? So it's cool when you pull a martini glass um, out of a paper bag that you show to be flat, first of all and then produce it. It's great, all that. Now he has got loads of things where you just produce the glass on his on its own and all that. I, I, they're good, they're fine. To me, not as interesting. And then the vanishes and and there's a, it's quite a cool kind of way he shows the glass broken and then restores it. For that you are gonna need two. There is, uh, there's a lovely thing where he pulls one glass out of the other one, which will require, will require, require you to have a second not a second gimmick, but a second martini glass. Uh, and there, there's a lot you can do. And I did actually quite enjoy the practice process. I didn't think I was going to, but because it was, I, I, I sort of made myself laugh a couple of times because I did, 
<laughs> I don't produce a thing and water goes everywhere. <laughs> and this is quite clever. So the way you do this isn't as hard as you may initially think. So he provides this gimmick which allows you to, to do what you need to. Well, a few gimmicks. But the whole water bit. And actually what you realise is you've got a little bit more time than you think. So what I, the reason I was spilling water over there, everywhere was because I was trying to do it really quickly, a bit like a splash bottle production. Bang, you know. And actually, because people don't know what's coming, you've got quite a lot to play with there. So when you're practising this, if you decide to get this, don't worry if you're... I was looking at the video going, oh, there's a bit of a giveaway. No one knows what's coming. And I showed the video to a couple of people of me not doing it very well, and they had no idea what was what was going on. And they, you know, the reaction was, whoa. And that's the reaction you're going to get. You get, this glass doesn't stand up on its own. So you get like a holder for it. So if you're on stage, you can, he, he supplies, supplies part of that. But the other bit, if you want to do it the way he does it, you're going to have to supply, but you can still use it uh, before that. The only negative of this is that it isn't going to fit certain situations uh, because it is a cocktail glass. And there is a slight, if you really look close, there is a slight giveaway in the stem of the glass. That's all I'll say with my one. Now, nobody's really going to see that. If it's in motion, if you do it as an open, if you then put things away, all that kind of stuff, you're going to be absolutely fine. Especially, he does kind of handle this. You know, he really does kind of put it through the ringer and it does tend to maintain its state mostly. I think it's okay to say that. But I think it's cool. You know, if you like that sort of thing, I think you, you'll get a lot out of it. And you just got to look after it. He said you can't put it in sunlight. It is food grade silicon, so you can drink out of it. Uh, and, and I had a thing with olives, so I used real olives in it for the production as well, which I think adds a little bit. So I think if you look at that, you're doing a cocktail routine or you're doing a routine on stage, which is based around the bar, or you're working in a bar, or you want to do cocktail events, which a lot of us do, I think it's actually a really nicely made uh, thing and he's put a lot of effort into all the different things you can do with it. Yes, there's a few things on it you're going to go, I'm not going to do that, what's the point? I might, you could even do some of it with a real glass, some of the productions and stuff. So, um, But lo loads on here and, and I think it's great. So Rose and Roy's martini glass, uh, thank you for sending that to me. It will be... Um, the links will be below. Please use those links because they're the people that send me and there's no affiliation. So like and subscribe, check out onlinemagic.co and there'll be a link to a spread cull course, a course on the spread cull, which you can check out as well. Uh, I think that's it. Take care. Have a good one.